Hey Virgos, welcome back to the channel. Kelly from House of Virgo. All right, let's get into your reading. If you're new, smash the like button and do subscribe. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. As always, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And a personal reading link is in the description box below. Happy birthday, if it is your birthday today, Virgo. All right, so we're gonna take a look um, from, at the time you're listening to this reading, going through, um, October 17th, okay? So 30 days, right? See what the energies are, what messages. Hey, everyone in the chat. Okay. What do you have, Virgo? What messages does Virgo need to hear? Okay, you have to give it time. Move on. And you have no, okay. Not the right time for something. You need to give something you need to give something a little bit of time um, <clears throat> before you say no to something, okay? Um, hmm. And you also have move on. Someone is unavailable. Something's over. Virgo, you might be at like kind of a crossroad. Part of you might be like, no, let me just give it a little more time before we move on from this relationship. And then the other part's like, no, this this person, are you conflicted? What's going on? Let's take a look. I know some of you might be. It's okay. Whatever. Nobody's judging. There might be a little bit of like feeling conflicted about, yeah, it could be a relationship, a job, um, <clears throat> or some major decision in your life. Okay, some kind of major decision. Let's take a look. Let's, I want to see, like, what is the decision? Let's see if we can get something specific here. Hold on, you guys. I'm trying to get my other deck. It's like buried under 8 million other decks. All right, let's see. What is the decision here that you need to make or that you are, like, kind of hemming and on? Like, maybe I... Should I? Shouldn't I? Is it a good time to do this? Should I not do this? Um, all right, you definitely got some kind of something that you want, Virgo. There is something like I'm just hearing. What was her name? My heart, like I have a dream. My heart has a dream. Wait, who's that contestant? That that Scottish woman, something Boyd, I think was that her name. I don't know. Some kind of song. <laughs> I don't know why that's coming into my head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so there's definitely like you feeling like you know this isn't gonna happen something i i don't know if it is or not but i i just kind of feel like your energy is like why am i waiting this is not gonna happen i need to move on and then you're like no okay so but there's something like that ninth cup right um not the 10 it's just more so like having some kind of wish come true so for some of you could it's anything that would like have an emotional positive emotional effect on you so something to do with a relationship something to do with your health something to do with your career okay you're just kind of like maybe just let me give this a little more time and not trusting yourself am i giving up too soon and then you're like so you're back and forth like all right let me give it some time or no i gotta move on it get, you know how like when you're watering your plant <laughs> What? everything because i'm an earth sign every come everything comes back to earth plants grass so you know like when you're watering your plant and you're like when is this thing gonna like start budding you know it's like oh i give up you know i, I don't know are you giving up too soon <clears throat> or are you just being realistic here okay so that like i feel like that's something that you're battling with okay let me see what else does spirit want you to know about this oh my gosh where go all right, get the three of swords. Some it could have something to do with like some kind of a heartbreak or you know, like some kind of an upset, like an argument. Some of you might be like, okay, I need to just leave something alone here. I'm not gonna try to talk to anybody or apologize or try to come back. There's not enough time. There is some kind there was something that 
I mean, I don't know if there's something that already happened here, Virgo, but the Three of Swords is always, you know, there's a heartbreak, divorce, a loss, depression, surgery. It could be, you know, something like, well, I'm not ready to get that surgery yet. I got to give it a little more time. I'm not sure. I'm not fully decided if I want to do that. And the other part's like, no, I'm not going to do it. I don't want to do it. Forget about it. Or I'm waiting for this surgery. Or this approval for something or medication is not coming through or I, I'm not too like Virgo I always like to say this is my this is my motto and I freaking live by this when in doubt don't do anything if you have any doubt Virgo about whatever area this is in your life if you're just like this is just not happening right now like no I don't know what to do then you it's not time for you to make a decision here if you have any doubt, you got to just pray it out. If you have any doubt, just leave it alone. Pray it out. Figure it, like, let it come to you because it will be revealed. So I do kind of feel like you're you're definitely in this energy. Maybe starting from now and, and like, in the rest of September. Let's see. Okay. Wow. Seven of Swords sitting on the Move On card. Yeah, you're not trusting something or you're just not 100% sure you can trust something here for some of you this could be getting in a relationship with someone um fearing oh maybe it might not work out that kind of thing or this person can't really meet my need or i'm not sure they're not available yeah whatever the energy is and i, I guess spirit's saying don't get specific just give them the general gist of it and i feel like with the seven of swords there's this don't want to be deceived don't want to make a bad decision don't want to make a choice that's going to backfire on me or i'll feel be like don't want anyone to be dishonest or <sighs> trying to be true to yourself you know but are you running away from fear is fear what's directing your path here virgo sorry you guys listen today i woke up my throat is sore again it is sore again. I took all of my antibiotics. I finished the whole course and my throat is sore again. So I don't know what the hell is going on, but I'm just giving you a heads up. I'm just giving you a warning just in case. Okay. All right. So yeah, you got this shit going on here. You got double sword energy, which is air. And you got some cup energy here, which is water. Let me see here. What should Virgo do? right because obviously i feel like you're between in betwixt and between i i really don't feel like you should make a decision what's going to come forward for you that's going to convince you oh look at that you got the high priestess so i mean virgo you got to trust your gut trust your intuition okay that's what i feel like is the, the the biggest message here you got to trust your gut you must not be trusting God. So remember I was saying, just kind of sit back. It will be revealed to you. That's what the high priestess is. And trust yourself, right? So the high priestess, this is an energy of, okay, deep breath. Let me just chill. What are my guides telling me? What is my body telling me? Like, what is, like... Your body never lies because you can feel it when something doesn't feel right when something feels off or you just don't quite know that you want to do something here you're like intuition it's either going to be if, if the voice is really quiet it's going to be loud vibrationally through your body and if it's not loud vibrationally through your body the voice is going to be loud in your head yeah, it's, you're going to get a light bulb moment here about this. I feel like the overall message is not time to make a decision. It's not right. Either you're not ready or you're feeling something or you will be where it's like, mm, 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 mm. this feels like a big deal. What is this about? And I was asking and they weren't telling me. What is this about? Because clarity is going to come. Once you get in to the high priestess energy, clarity is going to come and it's going to be revealed to you. The truth is going to come. You're going to know what to do. Okay. But you, you got to come from within. You might be checking with other people or, you know, looking up percentage wise how some things turn out like this. Like, like if I do this, how will this turn out? How does it turn out for other people? Um, 
uh, let me talk to my friends and family. I feel like, okay, that's great. But a lot of times people are going to give you their advice based on their own personal experience. It's not necessarily wrong, but it's not your experience. It's not, you know what I mean? Everybody's different. Um, I feel like going within and asking yourself if this is right for me or if it's not. Okay, you got the Eight of Swords here. Uh oh. So this has something to do with like uh, some kind of restriction. I need more information. Okay. Virgo, you know, you're stuck in something, okay? You got some kind of, I feel like you have some kind of mental restriction that's happening here. And you're trying to hold it all together. You're trying to keep it like all together. Family, friends, you're really stuck. Yeah, I, they're not telling me what it is. I'm sorry. They're just not. My guides are not telling me, but I can tell you for, for sure. Like, you can't maintain this right here. You can't keep putting on a front. You can't keep holding, like, juggling and holding all the balls up in the air constantly. Um, I feel like you're trying to, you're doing this whole, like, everything's fine. You're distracting everyone from what's going on deep within you. The fact that you're you're suffering here with this eight of swords you are suffering but you're putting on an act you're putting on a show look at you like everybody distraction look at the balls look over here look over here look at the performance look over here don't anybody question me or look ask me what's going on deep down no you're putting on a front you got a front and this is like a protection thing right because you want everyone to be happy you want everyone to be like just supportive of you or you know just kind of being like you know everything's fine everybody's happy total love and support we're all content we're all happy but mm, you're not listen you can't met you can't just keep doing that you're not going to be able to maintain that any longer the time's coming now and you're coming to the end where you need to make this decision whatever this is okay because look look you're hiding here with this like this eight of swords is tough energy this is feeling imposed restricted isolated or imprisoned in some way but you don't want anyone to know that's how you're feeling so you know you put up distractions you're putting up some kind of front making everybody happy or laughing but mm, you and virgo you know <laughs> <laughs> Virgos are so honest, like they're so honest to a fault, even with themselves that they can't stand lying even to themselves and everyone else. But this is like a big time protective measure. All right. I feel like, you know, obviously this whole reading's about you. You yeah, I feel like like you do what you gotta do. If this is what you need to do, you gotta put up a front because you don't want anyone getting into your because Virgos are very private. You don't want anyone getting into your deepest inner stuff. Totally get it. But you're going to have to start trusting yourself and make this decision. All right, let me see. I, I'm not going to ask them to tell me anything specific. I just want to know, like, what else they want you to know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Six of Swords. The Empress. And Page of Swords. All right. Some of you need to go con need to go and confront um, the other woman, mm -hmm. or you might want to. But some of you, you might be hesitant about doing that. The other woman or the other guy, whichever. You might be hesitant about doing that. Maybe that's part of the decision. You know, it's like oh, there might be something to do with a child or a baby or, or an illegitimate child. Or there might be something to do with in regards to uh, a pregnancy or somebody else's pregnancy that you find out about. And 
I mean, obviously, it's not your decision what to do about somebody else's pregnancy, but it obviously is having some kind of effect on you. Um, there's also something here to do with like a mother figure. So it could be a decision about putting like a parent in a nursing home or having them come live with you. There's like this really big, it's like these are, I feel like these are kind of, like I said, it could be surgery. These are big ticket items. Okay. So, uh, clarity is going to come. Like you're going to get a light bulb moment. I'm telling you. I don't feel like you need to sit down at your desk and make a pros and a cons list because even if you do and you're not you're still not sure about going forward either your pros and cons list are going to just even out or you're still not going to be sure to choose and that's why i feel like i'm, I'm hearing sit on it <laughs> it's like from the fonz right remember from happy days yo sit on it you need to sit on it you need to sleep on it on this this thing right now before you take any action yes you do because if you take any action without having that intuitive message that either you go for it or you just forget about it like you got to pick a lane before you take any action and you go ahead and make a move or don't make a move you're going to regret it so you got to like tick all your own boxes but just kind of sleep on this i hear at least for the next couple of weeks before you do anything okay you have the four of wands and the wheel of fortune you know i just okay all right listen virgo guess what <laughs> you're gonna get you're getting some good news here i'm telling you right now you're getting some good news okay this situation this is why spirit is saying wait because this thing is going to resolve itself this situation is going to resolve itself some other person is going to come in and give you the truth which is going to change everything okay uh, and so what i mean by the truth they're going to give you the key that's going to unlock this decision so i feel like you need to wait this could be coming from an air sign especially somebody's going to show up after all your him and hawn and all your checklists and all your burnings burnings you know the wood in your brain there the, the fire in your head and the stove and the smoke signals and everything and checking with taro and doing this and checking with everybody else and then and, and being confused and not knowing what to do somebody's just going to pop up and they're just going to give you that key that you need so that you're going to be able to move that it's just going to resolve itself okay it's a key player there's a key player showing up here they could be part of your family um or some whoever you call your soul, soul tribe they're going to show up and they're going to come in with this energy of like it's just going to be so simple the thing that they say they give you some kind of an idea or they, they, they show you something or they tell you something and it's, it's something that you won't even think about or even be able to conjure up because maybe you go down a rabbit hole with this big thing but they're going to show up and give it to you and then it's boing there it is boop there it is there's the answer so you need to wait Okay? You still need to go in and trust your intuition and trust yourself and just wait. You need to stay silent is what I'm hearing because it's going to come out. Something's going to, it's going to come out. You're going to find out what you need to do here and what, because the information that comes to you, either that's what the, that's what the key is. It's going to be some information that comes to you that you're going to be able to say, got it. Now I know exactly what I need to do. Okay. That's interesting. This doesn't feel like a love reading, does it? I don't know. <laughs> Leave me a comment in the description below if you're like, oh, I totally know what this is. Because I tell you what, you guys, when I get these readings, I like stuff comes out and I have no idea what's going on here. No idea. And when you guys leave me a comment and you're like, yeah, this is about in my life, I'm just like totally floored. I love it. I, and I do read the comments. So definitely leave me the comments. Okay. A little bit of gossip. Some information. 
It's going to set you free. I'm telling you, Virgo, victory at the end here. It's going to set you free. This, Whatever this situation is, you're not going to have to worry. You are going to be able to then just take off once you get this information. I just love it. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm dying to know. I'm dying to find out what you guys, what it is. Okay, let me just get a couple of Island Time messages here. And this is going to be a short reading tonight. Okay, you got kisses, unconditional love, giving and receiving affection, falling in love energy. That's definitely going to be happening for you in between September now through October. So a little love and affection, beautiful thing. You got not today. Some of you are not dealing, feeling hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person boundaries, and still angry. Okay, that could be you or somebody else in your life, right? That's fine. Or you could be trying to love up on someone and they're not interested, or somebody's trying to love up on you and you're not interested, or those are two separate messages. So let's just take a look here. All right, there's your key. Virgo, there's your keys. Many options, decision. You're going to find out. Yeah, this could have anything to do with anything at all. Okay, relationship, your career, your finances, material things, um, family, friends, personal relationships, your health, anything like that. Um you got a you got a chaser. Somebody's chase. Somebody's like somebody's very codependent. In uh, someone in your life is very very codependent. They're like the chaser. I guess you must be a runner. Um, somebody's gonna be chasing after you. Uh, something to do with a camera. <laughs> Maybe you're a movie star and it's the paparazzi. There you go. But somebody's going to be chasing after you, either with a camera. <laughs> Can I take your picture? Can I take your picture? Or um, there is something here about making memories, reminiscing and keepsake. So there is something here as far as like, it feels like a love thing. There's a love thing. Somebody wants to make new memories with you. Um, taking some time to heal. Somebody's taking some time to heal. Okay, that's interesting. All right, wait. Let me just go. We're going, like I said, it's going to be a little bit shorter. Um, is it? I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Let me get the Chinese signs, though. I want to see what what is your Chinese sign, Virgo? Please leave a comment what your Chinese sign is and see if it shows up here. All right, we have Year of the Ox. Year of the Rat. Year of the Rabbit, Year of the Horse, Year of the Dragon, Year of the Dog, we have a Rooster, and a Tiger. Okay, significant. Okay, that could be you or someone else you're connected to. All right, Virgo, let's get a couple of messages of love here. See what your messages of love are here. Okay, hey, your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Oh, that's very sweet. Okay, you also have, uh, but they're unavailable. You got a soulmate who's unavailable at this time. Children are very important to this partnership or this relationship. So there might be something here to do with children. And you also will be getting an apology from someone. And finances are very important at this time. One more, please. One more message for Virgo. Oh, there is a relationship that's strict, strictly sexual. Okay. Connection. Passionate but not enduring. Okay. All right. Let's see. We have a Leo. Double Leo, double Capricorn. Let me say that again for those in the back. Double Leo, double Capricorn. Okay. August 24th, September 12th, September 10th. Am I calling out your birthday? 1975. Someone's 52. 
1979. Hey, that was a great song. Okay, 65. 1965. <clears throat> 39. 41. September 11th. 59. September 6th. 67. 32. 86, September 18th, September 15th. Okay, August 31st. Okay. So we have the initial G, we have an O, a letter N, we have a V, we have a B, Z, E, X, S, E, X. O and A, and also, did I say August 25th? I think I did. Okay. Um, mm, mm, mm. All right, that's strange. So I'm not getting any names. Okay, Nicholas or Nikki or Nicolette. Adam. Sean. Brianna or Brian, Vanessa, Gina, George, Basil, Beverly. Okay, now they're really giving me names here. Zach, Oren, Elizabeth, some of you, there's an X showing up here, definitely, this is something to do with an X, okay, yeah, that's all they're giving me, okay. So we're gonna leave those names there. All right, let's get a couple of charms. See what your messages are. Get you a couple charms here. Oh, you got a, another pair of scissors again. That's craziness. A dragon. Okay. So, all right, Virgo. So you got a pair of tennis rackets, significant for someone. Sorry, you guys got the camera backwards, so I can't even see if you can see that. So you got tennis rackets, very significant. Someone plays tennis, or there's some snowshoes, but no, this, these are tennis rackets. You also have um, a wiener dog. <laughs> okay, somebody has a wiener dog. You might see one. You got a pair of old-fashioned scissors. Yes, yes. So again, with the scissors, you might get gifted like a pair of old-fashioned scissors. I'm hearing... If you're a hairdresser or something, somebody might gift you a pair of old-fashioned scissors. Oh, you also have like a moon, a half moon with a face. It's a moon face. Oh, okay, somebody might have moon face. Um, could be like a, a face shaped like a moon. They might have like pox, like scar marks on their face. Could also have like a moon face from like a medication. We have a dragon here. So born in the year of the dragon. I love this dragon. This is so cool. I'm going to turn this into like um, a necklace, I think. Um, fire breathing dragon. Game of Thrones could be. It's Game of Thrones, I think it is. Maybe you're watching. What's it called? House of the, House of the Dragon, perhaps. Um, and then you've got Chanel number five. Okay, very significant for someone. Chanel number five, maybe gifting it to someone, receiving it, you wear it, you like the smith, the scent. All right, Virgo, so I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope that resonated and you enjoyed that. Definitely think about becoming a member. I'm going to have up the, um, it's probably already up by the time you're listening to this, the members only video. So if you are a VIP member of my channel, you can gain access to bonus content. So definitely think about becoming a member if you're already. Um, a loyalty member part of the loyalty member gang you can upgrade all right you guys thanks everybody in the chat i will see you all back here tomorrow for your weekend reading bye i just can't let you go lord knows that i've tried to you said i was the only one no one likes being lied to 
You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I want 